We're catching up with Spartan Metals in this one, asking CEO Brett Marsh about two pieces of news from Spartan's Eagle Project in Nevada. They've confirmed two new mineral zones on surface and released drill results from their tailings. This is leftover material from the old mine at the project. Brett, like mentioned, you found two new zones here, one being two kilometers long. And it's been said that these soil samples are stronger than what was found at the original mine. Does this mean that the main event at the project hasn't even been mined yet? Yeah, we'd like to think so. Um, you know, we're really excited about the fact that uh, it just showed up a lot better than what we already see at the surface from the old mine. So it uh, definitely gives us a lot of cause for optimism. You're finding tungsten, silver, and rubidium all together. Um, first, talk to us about why rubidium is important and how having all three of these metals in one spot changes the economics of the project compared to a single metal mine. Yeah, uh, rubidium is very interesting in the fact that it, it, it's really uh, starting to become one of those metals that's researched for high-tech applications like quantum computers. It's already used a lot in um, uh, atomic clocks, which is used in uh, advanced weaponry. So you see that the uh, the metal itself has cross applications for both uh, uh, military and uh, high tech industries. So it's uh, it's quite exciting. Uh, and for us at the at the uh, Eagle Project, having these three uh, elements in relatively high concentration really gives us a, a nice diversification uh, with a foundation of tungsten. Um, but then these other metals can actually come in and, and add accretive value. And uh, since they don't actually uh, trend together as far as economics, so that uh, gives us a little bit more of a broad uh, exposure to, to different uh, uh, commodity sets. And results wise, you've reported 0.13% tungsten in your tailings. Uh, it's been mentioned that's close to the cutoff for some active underground mines in South Korea. Since your material is already above ground and processed, uh, does this represent a meaningful shortcut to generating revenue while, of course, you explore uh, other targets? Yeah, we think so. I mean, it's uh, it, it, it's uh, small in size, but it has the ability to, to really add some significant value for us in the short term. Uh, and so we're actively looking, uh, you know, for partners and for uh, um, um, groups that can uh, you know, help us with the extraction and processing and downstream uh, components of, uh, of this. And what would you say is the make or break number or recovery rate that you're looking for? Yeah, you know, the higher, the better. So at this point, we, we don't know what we're going to expect. We don't know what to expect. So this is uh, really the first time we've uh, been able to, to get in there. So we're, we're doing a, a full a full sweep of metallurgical tests for both leaching and flotation and gravity separation for the tungsten. So we can get an idea on, on perhaps which is the best approach here. Um, but like you said, the fact that it's already at the surface uh, and has been processed and is in a, is in a format that uh, you know should be amenable to a lot of different techniques. Um, so we're, we're really optimistic about the potential. For a retail investor looking at your stock today, what would you say is the single biggest de-risking event that they should circle on their calendar for the first half of 2026? Yeah, I mean, really, we're going to start. We have to get uh, drills on the ground. I mean, we've seen a lot of really good and interesting results from our work at the surface. And so now we have to basically uh, start showing what's underneath and, uh, you know, put out those uh, put out those great results that we expect. All right. Well, Brett, thank you for your time today. We'll be watching Spartan Metals. All right. Thanks, Rachel. That's Brett Marsh of Spartan Metals. You can always go to CEO.ca and search the ticker symbol to see what investors are saying about the company. Thanks for watching.